Ladies and gentlemen, wonderful people, welcome back to another Warzone video. And in this one, we are going one last time to bunker number 11 before the big season 2 update is live. And we are only one hour away from the big update and I simply can't wait to explore the new locations in Verdansk, Vodianoi ship, monuments, bunker 10, bunker 11, etc. So I'm hoping for big things, but let's now listen to the phone here. Okay, it's this one. Seven one five. Okay, so I'm playing here with Kevin after a long time and I'm going to do number seven and Kevin can do number one, which is the uh, bank in downtown. So we are going to split up here. We will be quicker to unlock the bunker number 11. Uh, I'm doing this only because I got a lot of comments and questions about the bunker number 11 recently with my videos. Uh, people were expre expressing concern. Is bunker 11 phones are still working and can you access bunker 11 at all? Now, I was getting some really strange and contradictional reports that the phones are not working and then if you are lucky enough that the phones are working, you get the different message. Now, we, we were listening now to the phone and message was completely the same as it was before. So we got the code, so we are now going to activate the bunker number 11 and see if there is any changes within the interior of the bunker. And this is the first place that we need to do. So this is the Verdansk International Airport, first phone over here, yes. So Kevin is doing the downtown uh, bank phone and I'm going to prepare myself, I'm going to the last phone which is uh, stationed in the TV station, Verdansk TV station. Anyways guys, I was telling you I'm absolutely uh, anxious and nervous and excited about the upcoming uh, season 2 of Warzone because they promised us a lot they promised us new easter eggs new locations this ship that's coming toward Verdansk that's also very interesting like I simply can't wait like this hour is going to last like a year and I'm under attack over here wow the helicopter is following me lovely okay they shot all the rockets I'm dead wow that was a tree. Actually, I'm not dead yet. Okay, they quit. No, they're not. They haven't. Yeah, I'm safe now. So anyways, I was saying I'm absolutely uh, excited about what's coming. And this hour until the update is going to last like a one year. To me, at least. But anyways, we are going to report about everything that we find new uh, on a map. New locations, new easter eggs, bunker 10 interior, 11, monuments, you name it. So, yeah, Kevin activated number 1, so I activated now um, number 5. We got the confirmation message, positive confirmation message that we've done everything correct. And we are off to Bunker 11, and this is a sort of a record, I would say. Like, un unlocking the bunker in under, what, four minutes? Even less? That's something. That's something. Honestly speaking, I've never been quicker. Uh, but this time I have help. Usually I'm doing this solo. But when you have a full squad, or just one person, it's much, much faster. And especially if you're lucky enough, like we were, to get the activation phone immediately. Now, that's a, a jackpot if you get the phone, activation phone immediately. I don't expect much and I'm under attack again here. What's happening? Like, every time I'm doing this Bunker 11, people are chasing me like crazy. Like, sometimes I have a feeling that this game is mocking me and that the uh, Bots are just falling from the skies, trying to kill me, etc. But okay, I'm joking, of course. Uh, people are playing, it's war zone, enemies are everywhere, so it's absolutely legitimate when somebody kills you. Like, it's a war zone. 
so no hard feelings. And at the end of the story, it's a game, so we shouldn't get upset about about that. Okay, I'm in front of bunker number 11, green light is up, which means that we've done everything correctly. We got the positive signal from the dispatcher on a phone. Um, I'm going to check the area a little bit, maybe wait for Kevin, or I'm not waiting. I'll just check the area as usual. Because people used to camp here all the time, like you do everything properly, you come in front of the bunker and there you go, the whole horde is just waiting for you. Okay, we are opening bunker number 11, last time uh, in season 1 of Warzone, just before season 2 is out, or update 1.32. So we are in, put one landmine always as a signal that somebody is coming. Okay, so far everything is the same, red light above the second bunker doors. This thing is going to be very interesting, so we need to check this as well with the Season 2 update. So this computer that needs to be restarted. So previously in the Season 3 and Season 4 we could restart this computer by, by ourselves, but nothing happened. So the next thing uh, after the Season 2 is online, we need to check these computers as well. So it's going to be very, very important. Let's see if there is... Yeah, the blueprints are still glitched. For some reason and it's not just in bunker number 11 also if you go to the stadium easter egg to the secret room in the stadium or if you are doing the robert island easter egg it's the same thing so all the blueprints are glitched so it's it's rather strange and i sincerely hope that they will fix this a very annoying glitch after the season 2 update because um you do everything properly you make an effort to do the easter egg and all of a sudden like you cannot get your reward which is uh, um, very nice blueprints like mud drawber is here mp7 um, smg which is a very nice weapon nobody can get it anymore like and we have tons of new people that just started playing warzone like they have to have access to these goodies that we got a couple of seasons before um, anyways, as I can see over here, there is abs nothing, ab absolutely nothing new. But we just, we just, uh, I, I wanted to check this because, as I said to you, I got tons of comments and reports that something is wrong with the bunkers, with the bunker 11 in particular, and that the phones are not uh, sending out the messages, that you cannot activate the, the, the Morse code signals. And there were some reports from the subscribers and audience that messages that you are getting are completely different and i understand people do not speak russian they don't even know what's the they don't have a clue what is uh, the narrative when you activate the phones which is absolutely normal uh, but as far as i can see there is absolutely no changes so everything is the same now if you tap three times the activation the morse code phone if you tap it three times in a row and if it's a faulty code you will get this like an error beep and you will get a little bit of different narrative where the dispatcher will say to you exactly that uh, that's not the right code you need to uh, do it again or something like that so that's that's the part uh, which was very confusing to the people because probably you were just tapping the phones around because you couldn't find the activation phone and then you got this uh, very i would say different message comparing to one that you get when you do every, when you do everything um, in a proper order but anyways i would really like to hear from you guys what do you think what do you expect from season two like i'm so hyped i can't even explain anymore how hyped i am because i'm really looking forward to this new ship that's coming that's going to be one of the interest points in verdansk now there's also a big mystery where the ship is going to land or actually dock because we still don't know like it passed almost bunker number 10 and it's going toward the toward the prison definitely and i have a, such a lovely two kills over here and i was just randomly sending the the the, the airstrike 
But anyways, I was I was saying like nobody still knows where the ship is going to dock. Like my my prediction is it's going to crash somewhere near the prison. And we will just have the expansion of the map, which is absolutely extraordinary. And I can't wait to see what kind of secrets that ship is um, hiding. Now, when we are looking at the ship at the current stage, it looks absolutely terrible. Like, graphics is like from Nintendo 64, and it's a complete disaster, I would say. But uh, I saw some pictures of uh, the ship in the Black Ops Cold War. And uh, the ship looks absolutely decent. The graphic graphics are amazing. And that thing is relatively big. Like, I would say it's big like the whole Verdansk International A Airport. Even bigger. And we will have a lot of places to explore over there. Um, I'm also very curious what's, what are uh, going to happen with the new rooms in the bunker number 10. Are we going to see the dead body of Viktor Zakaev? If not, that would be a signal he might be still alive. But anyways, my fellow Verdan citizens, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and uh, entering last enter to Bunker 11. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comment section below. And until next time, I wish you all the best and stay frosty.